We've ended 20 years of conflict in Afghanistan. And as we close this period of relentless war, we're opening a new era of relentless diplomacy. And as the United States turns our focus to the priorities and the regions of the world, like the Indo-Pacific, that are most consequential today and tomorrow, we'll do so with our allies and partners through cooperation at multilateral institutions like the United Nations to amplify our collective strength and speed our progress toward dealing with these global challenges. Our security, our prosperity, and our very freedoms are interconnected, in my view, as never before. And so, I believe we must work together as never before. We're back at the table in international forums, especially the United Nations, to focus attention and to spur global action on shared challenges. Make no mistake, the United States will continue to defend ourselves, our allies, and our interests against attack, including terrorist threats, as we prepare to use force if any is necessary. But to defend our vital U.S. national interest, including against ongoing and imminent threats, but the mission must be clear and achievable undertaken with informed consent of the American people, and whenever possible, in partnership with our allies. U U.S. military power must be our tool of last resort, not our first. And it should not be used as an answer to every problem we see around the world. <clears throat> but we're not seeking, say it again, we are not seeking a new Cold War or a world divided into rigid blocks. The United States is ready to work with any nation that steps up and pursues peaceful resolution to shared challenges, even if we have intense disagreements in other areas. 